Dr. Angelique Kutsia. She joins us from Pretoria and is the national chairperson of the South African Medical Association. Dr. Kutsia, always good to have you on this news hour. In your practice specifically, are you seeing more people coming in with high blood sugar after they've recovered from COVID-19? Good question. Good afternoon to all your viewers out there from South Africa. Um, yes, what we have seen is um, patients, especially during Delta, uh, patients uh, with pre-diabetes, um, after they got Delta, now become full-blown diabetes, or difficult to control their diabetes afterwards, after they had Omicron or Delta. Um, yes, so the, the short answer is yes, there's definitely a link um, with COVID-19 and the higher incidence of diabetes, whether it's less controlled or new cases. That's quite uh, concerning, seeing as we're still learning so much about COVID-19 in these two years of the pandemic. But is there also a correlation where COVID is worse for those who are already diabetic or even pre-diabetic, especially in a country like South Africa that is often uh, regarded as the most obese in Africa, but also has a very high incidence of diabetic patients? Yeah, um, it is... Uh, you know, I, the patients that I had admitted from Omicron, out of the four patients, three were diabetes. Um, the problem with the diabetes is twofold. One, um, the patient might be controlled, and but once if they get COVID, especially if they get the pneumonia, the inflammation markers goes up. Um, the inflammation uh, causes what we call the cytokine storm that increases the blood glucose, as well as the pancreas. Um, there's a problem, the pancreas also have the, um, uh, um, some re receptors, the ACE receptors, and they are also linked then to um, giving the, your patients a, a higher, um, in, uh, you know, diabetes or higher risk of getting diabetes. Uh, and then also remember the treatment uh, cortisone is, uh, plays an important role, especially in places like Africa. We don't have all these nice medication that's in the first world, and that might also um, be a risk factor, the, the, the mm -hmm. use of the steroid treatments. Yeah. So with all of that being said, people who have COVID or recovering from COVID, is it also pushing people to improve their diets and their lifestyles uh, to keep a good immunity and to stay healthy. Does this impact resistance to or recovery from COVID-19? This would um, impact patients more. Um, yeah, that is a difficult one. They, they, it, they, they tend to be less controlled. Whether that is a part of the long COVID side effects with the inflammation, cytokine storm, as we have said, the pancreas has got a problem. Whether it is a combination of not um, uh, sticking to their diets, especially after they had been extremely sick, uh, it is not, you know, it's difficult to, to determine. There is not a study currently going on trying to help us. There is, however, studies in, in America where, especially under the children that was released recently, um, linking diabetes to um, be more specific to COVID-19 patients, especially with the children. And I think that's a good data on the IQVR healthcare and the health verity data that's out there, um, also confirming that COVID might lead to a higher incidence of diabetes, especially for patients who might have been a pre-diabetes or never had diabetes, but after the cytokine storm, been developing diabetes. Angelique Kutsia, always great to speak to you live to us there from Pretoria. Thank you so much.